Hi, this is P. R. Sundar. Welcome to Pre Market Report sponsored by a Delta Dot Exchange and uh, Tradex.live, a platform where you can trade Indian equities and US equities with a 500 times leverage and without any brokerage. Uh, some people started trolling me uh, in uh, social media saying that you know the Tradex is not registered with SEBI. You know, only stock exchanges operating within India offering equity will have to register with SEBI but these are like foreign brokers who are offering not actually the equity they are CFDs. So I'll come out with a, a, a detailed video later. So what is this all about CFD and those kind of things what are the advantages and disadvantages. So that let it be a separate video. Now let us come back to the pre-market report and US markets fell yesterday and in fact, for the last two weeks, US markets have been consolidating, waiting for a trigger to break out or break down. It looks like, you know, some negative news is coming. Uh, number one, the Tesla auto sales data, the first quarter auto sales data came much lower than expected. And immediately Tesla fell about 7, 7.5%, but then recovered uh, at a close, I think it, it was down by about 5%. But when Tesla falls 7, 8%, you know, proportionally other stocks also, uh, not proportionally, but some other stocks also being brought down. So it was a very bad sentiment. And to add fuel to the fire, there were many other news. Uh, number one, the crude oil hitting five year high. A crude oil hitting five year high is actually not really good for the auto stocks. Now the problem is that, you know, uh, I see uh, uh, internal combustion engine, what they call it as like the cars that run by petrol or diesel uh, that is also not doing well because of crude and Tesla EV battery vehicle also not doing well and on top of which another very bad news today morning there was some earthquake in uh, Taiwan uh, Richter scale around 7.5 uh, which is uh, really, really very big and then there was a tsunami warning both in Japan and Taiwan so you know uh, suddenly everything you know um, seems to be uh, collapsing and then you know the US bond yield shot up like anything the bond prices fell 3% in just two trading sessions and I tweeted in my social media I have half a million worth of bonds you know I lost you know $15,000 in just uh, two trading session of course that is only an emotional loss I'm not going to going to book the loss I'm going to hold the bond forever uh, I know I will be getting the interest of course if I had bought that bond today I would have got slightly higher interest but since I bought it about a few months before I'll be getting lower interest now uh, gift nifty you know Asian markets are down as expected you know there is no way Asian markets can be higher and the uh, gift nifty is indicating about 100 120 point lower opening and more importantly it's opening much lower than yesterday's low so which is uh, technically a bearish signal and of course there are some you know last month you know when globally everything was positive India specific there were so many negative news and now when globally everything is negative India specific there are some good news number one the GST collection is the second highest so far and then manufacturing PMI data is almost close to 60 which is one of the fantastic figures and then HDFC bank. So in fact, HDFC bank is the one saved the bank, uh, bank nifty as well as nifty yesterday while broader markets were down and even in US markets. So HDFC bank was higher. You know, uh, I have uh, 10 stocks in my watch list, the magnificent seven in US, what they call it as, you know, like Amazon, Apple, Tesla, uh, Nvidia, so uh, Google, uh, so those seven stocks, magnificent seven plus three stocks, ICSA Bank, Infosys and uh, HDFC Bank. So these are the 10 stocks uh, is there in my watch list and out of that everything is down and only HDFC Bank was higher. So maybe if HDFC Bank wants to save the market, you know, uh, there's a possibility we may not fall much from here. Uh, but, you know, uh, after rising 3000 points in such a short period, November and December 2023, just two months, 
the markets are consolidation mode but this consolidation is happening with a huge choppiness you know uh, even the technicals are not working in this uh, kind of scenario in fact day before yesterday the bank nifty was long technically but yesterday also it fell but yesterday it did not fall much but it fell slightly but then today also it's going to fall so uh, however technically the nifty was not long as i told you uh, 22535 has to be crossed but uh, yesterday or day before yesterday the high was uh, 22529 so just six points away so uh, this is the nature you know uh, in a choppy period you know the technicals may not work you know uh, you may have to take stop loss few times but the larger trend will always be captured so the main worry now whether the us will cut the interest rate in june or not so i think some of markets feels that you know it's not going to happen but we may not get any official information until the next fomc meeting in the month of may but we have an rbi meeting this friday but i think that rbi meeting will be um, a non event you know i think rbi is likely to maintain the status quo neither increase nor decrease the interest rates and uh, ahead of the election uh, elections you know they will not like to take any risk you know that may any risk that you know can trigger in higher inflation and this and that so i think it's 99.99 percent it's going to be a status quo so today uh, the hopes are on hdfc bank so if hdfc bank does well you know uh, initially uh, of course everything will fall but after that, you know, within half an hour or 45 minutes, if HDFC bank recovers, then there will be some hope. Otherwise, you know, so our market, you know, is back to square. For the last three months, you know, Nifty has been trading between 22,000 and 22,500. A number of times it's breaking 22,000 on the downside, but uniformly comes back to this range. And few times it crossed 22,500 also, but uniformly it has come back. And now, with this uh, yesterday and day before yesterday, though Nifty did not close above 22,500, uh, day before yesterday, uh, intraday it moved above 22,500. In fact, uh, in the last three months, uh, now this is the fourth month, uh, Nifty has crossed 22,500 intraday two or three times, but never closed above 22,500. Yesterday and day before yesterday closed very near, like 40, 50 point. But if the momentum continued, so that would have taken out. But you know, uh, that has not happened. So now there's 100, 120 point gap down. You know, markets may recover, but I don't think that it's going to recover completely. So anyway, in all probability, today closing will be negative, looking at the global queues. So unless, you know, if there is any... Uh, some news trigger in US, you know, if the markets recover and especially uh, today is uh, Wednesday and, you know, uh, some private sector jobs data will be coming in US. So that will give an indication of uh, what will be the jobs report on Friday. So people will be looking for uh, economic news in US to see the probability of uh, rate cut in June. So, if the probability of rate cut in June increases, then markets may do well. But if that decreases, you know, markets may not do well. I think as of now, um, the probability of uh, June rate cut is around 60 percent. So, we will have to wait for more economic data uh, like US jobs data, inflation data and this and that. And who knows, we may outperform and because we have already underperformed in the month of March. So th today morning I saw a news that uh, uh, China and Jap uh, Hong Kong markets in the last three years, they have lost a market cap of more than 5 trillion. That's more than the market cap of Indian markets. So that is the kind of pain in other places. Of course, bright spots are also there. Look at the Japanese market, look at the US markets. So they're all doing extremely well. So Indian markets, you know, a uh, lot of uncertainties. Uh, you know, so if there is any short covering in HDFC Bank and IT stocks, Infosys and TCS, uh, 
uh, you know, I think sometimes, you know, from now to next week, there may be some kind of a short covering in thesis and Infosys because those stocks have fallen so much. There will be a lot of uh, huge shorts and those shorts will have to be covered before the results. Otherwise, if the results are good, if there is a gap up, you know, so these people will be in trouble. So overall, right now, the sentiment is not good and, you know, but we are still far better than uh, the last one month low. Uh, we are still 600, 700 points away from the last one month low. So let us hope that, uh, you know, 22,000 is being held in this uh, series. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.